So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Alex. Um, I'm the CEO and founder of PlateMeter. We are Techstars uh, 2013 uh, company. Um, so, um, my, my, my DNA, my background is really a tech guy, right? I'm a, I'm a computer scientist. And, uh, you know, even if I'm a computer scientist, I'm a guy who actually likes to get off the screen sometimes, right? And I'm one of these guys who actually enjoys the physical world, right? I like going to places. I like shopping. I like, uh, you know, meeting people. I like uh, the experience of going somewhere to buy something. Believe it or not, I even miss blockbusters. Okay, that might be a little extreme. but uh, uh, So, basically, um, today, a lot of people are... You know, predicting the total extinction of brick and mortar businesses, right? Mark Andreessen did that uh, not too long ago. Um, and I like the real world, so, you know, I used to build missiles in my in a previous career. I also used to build software for law enforcement. I was like, man, there's something I got to be able to do um, to help there. So I founded PlaceMeter. Um, the uh, goal of PlaceMeter is to uh, disrupt uh, the field of uh, store traffic analytics and bring it to the masses and, uh, you know, bring it uh, to a uh, big data approach where we unlock the data and leverage it in ways that nobody's doing so far. So um, just, uh, you know, a step back and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> just a quick analysis. A lot louder. Okay, guys. Um, <clears throat> so what's happening today in, in, in retail stores is that information and asymmetry is flipping sides, right? Uh, consumers are outsmarting businesses, right? So uh, they have uh, mobile phones, uh, you know, they do showrooming, they can uh, look up products in stores, and they don't have to do with subpar uh, retail experience anymore. Um, so uh, as an example, uh, you know, uh, a, a survey by uh, Isle Buyer and Tech Journal found out that nearly 40% of smartphone-carrying people uh, have uh, abandoned an in-store purchase due to long lines, for example. <laughs> But that doesn't only apply to big box retail, right? It also applies to smaller retails. It also applies to different verticals, quick serve restaurants, uh, grocery stores. People don't like waiting. People don't have a, uh, like having a bad, ex uh, you know, subpar experience. So there's really a lot of pressure on all these, uh, all these retail places to optimize the way they, um, you know, they perform uh, and uh, the experience they offer to their uh, customers. So. <clears throat> So now, why is that a problem for retail? Um, <clears throat> retail business managers and store owners uh, have a problem because understanding how their store works really depends on understanding what physically happens in the store, right? And a lot of times, they just don't have the data. And worse, worse than that, sometimes they have the data, but it's uh, the tools, but it's not the right tools. Um, there's a lot of uh, store or traffic analytics companies that just provide yet another dashboard, uh, and it's not it's not usable to uh, to actually act on, on problems. So um, here comes PlaceMeter. Uh, we are a we designed a scalable, very simple system that's based on computer vision, uh, and uh, it's uh, completely self-installed. Um, all you need to do is set up a couple of cameras, and then we can measure how many people come in and out of a store how long they wait at the line, um, if there are seats or tables available somewhere. Uh, and uh, the system is completely uh, self-calibrated. Uh, it's connected to the uh, Internet through a cellular network, so no need at all for any uh, IT uh, setup. Um, I think we didn't see the whole video here. So just an example of the, uh, of the uh, computer vision algorithm. So we detect moving objects and uh, can analyze what they do. Here we're just uh, detecting people crossing a threshold. We can also detect when they wait in line or, or are sitting somewhere. So as soon as this um, system is set up, it starts churning out data um, and feeding our, feeding, feeding our back end. So we offer the traditional uh, dashboard, of course. Um, that, that's an aspect of what we do. Here you can actually see the real data from our office space at Techstars. So uh, the top line is the, uh, the uh, current uh, activity there. Uh, you have uh, total occupancy, traffic in the last hour, number of visits today compared to the average. You can also compare your current performance compared to the average on the right side. And at the bottom, you have analytics on uh, you know, what peop how many people are there uh, on average during a day. So you can see we work quite late, right? Some even very late. Now, uh, what the data becomes powerful is when you transform the data into alerts and action actionable items. So um, once PlaceMeter is set up in a place, places can actually talk 
to their managers or to anyone who goes there. So if the traffic is too high, unusually high or unusually low, we can send an alert to the business manager so that he can call in, bring more people, bring more staff, or if the place is too slow, he can push more ads or, or offers online. So please me to return physical activity into actionable real-time alerts. Um, now, there's also, and that's where we uh, try to, uh, you know, have a, a, a disruptive approach where the data is shared not only with the business manager, which is a traditional, uh, uh, you know, uh, store traffic analytics uh, uh, environment where data is fed only to the business manager. We believe that by sharing the data with customers, by also anonymizing and, and you know, having a benchmark data, we can leverage a lot more uh, use cases. Uh, so this is one example of one of our clients uh, whose problem is not offline, online to offline conversion, but the other way around. They make ads online, uh, they have a website, and they want people to come in store. So having a, a vision of how the store is going to be, or the, this is a bar actually, how it's going to be during the week, helps you choose the best time to go. If you want to go have a party, you're going to go when it's, uh, when it's a party. If you want to go have a quiet drink, you're going to go when it's uh, light or green down there. Um, <clears throat> so basically, PlaceMeter is trying to reinvent and, uh, and uh, to reinvent the, the uh, relationship between places and people, right? This is an example where you can tweet the place you're going to go to, and thanks to PlaceMeter, we're going to reply to you how it is now, if they're special, or when you should go. Um, <clears throat> Just a quick slide about our technical approach. Uh, we really think there's no uh, one-size-fits-all in that kind of, uh, of technologies, and some companies have, have, have failed in that, in that realm, I mean, in terms of retail uh, store analysis. So what we offer is really more uh, a platform, so you have different measures. Uh, you have different targets, different triggers, different analysis, and you can combine all that to optimize what you need in your store. Uh, and also, place meter smart data improves operations on one side, but yield and also consumer experience. So, to finish, um, you guys are New Yorkers. I'm sure you recognize these signs. Um, and I'm sure you, uh, you, you know how it is when you don't have that information in the subway. Well, uh, you know, you'll soon remember retail stores before place meter in the same way. All right? Thank you.